Hello guys, today we're gonna install Nidia Score from scratch. Uh, at the end of the installation, you're gonna have a full fledged uh, Nidia Score uh, with graphic with notification like this one here. You're gonna be able to see different type of service uh, that you might want to configure in your environment. So we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start here. On my website here, I've done a few instructions. Most of them uh, are only copy paste. The first thing that you're gonna need is a virtual machine or a server that has Ubuntu on it. I've I've installed one uh, on. A virtual machine and I'm gonna connect to it with putty uh, you can use uh, any SSH terminal I'm using putty since I'm on Windows space before here so the first part of it is going to be to make sure that your system is up to date even if here it's saying we need to restart uh, it's gonna still work so the first part is gonna be to install all the requirement I've put all the one that we're gonna need during the following a video so uh, you might as well install everyone uh, every uh, requirement while it's it's installing we're gonna go to the actual website of Nagios to see the uh, rest of the configuration so here if you look carefully all those requirements were into the one that I put here. So I'll just pause here and uh, after everything is done, I'm gonna get back to you. So depending on your system, it might have taken a minute, uh, two minutes, four minutes. Uh, on mine, it, it took uh, on mine it took uh, two minutes. That's why I've paused the video. Uh, in here, I was just checking because I was pretty certain that they've updated their actual. And I just recently edited it and they didn't update their documentation yet. So we're gonna just make sure here instead of, instead of putting one, make sure to put it two because I know that the latest version is two. But uh, all the rest of the current configuration should be the, the same thing. So in here, make sure to put again two and not one. They mostly uh, keep that documentation that documentation up to date, but uh, for some reason they didn't, and that's why I'm not copy pasting everything on my site because uh, during the last year they were pretty up to date on their documentation. Okay, 
so that's done. So here we're gonna add the one step. We're gonna uh, change the Nagios password for something that you want. Uh, I'm changing it because uh, for ease of use, we're gonna use Nagios uh, user directly in, in our editor. So it's gonna be easier uh, when editing file instead of having every time to uh, change the owner of the file and the permission of it. So we're, we're gonna follow here. Okay, so in here, even if we don't if I don't use the firewall, uh, I'm still applying those rules. If at, if at some point I want to enable it, uh, these rules are gonna be on. So in here, we're gonna uh, uh, select the password that we want for the actual portal of Nagios uh, on our web browser. So in production, make sure that it's a secure password. Start the web server. Start the Nagios process. So after after your uh, installation, uh, you go to the actual uh, server IP address uh, slash Nagios, and you're gonna come here. Strange. Even if I download the 4.4.2, it installed the 4.1. Uh, we're gonna still continue. It doesn't really uh, the .2 didn't have a lot of uh, feature more, so we're gonna still continue. So in here, that's what they're asking us to test if the actual path did work. Mm. So in here, all the requirement we all, all already have all the, all those. So we're gonna just follow the next step. That's still the same thing. that just to be sure we're gonna restart the Nagios process to that we go to no uh, no not that one that's what it's gonna look at the end but for now I'm installing it somewhere else so yeah that's why so I wasn't connecting to the right IP address, so that's why it was saying me it wasn't the right IP, uh, the right version. So in here, you're gonna see localhost. That's the uh, 
that's the first one that it's installing by default I'm gonna force all the check uh, to make sure that all the actual plugin are working so after that I'm gonna come back to O's uh, click on here and you can see that all the actual uh, check the default check are working if in here uh, everything is still red that means that you haven't uh, done the uh, Nagios plugin so be sure to uh, install the Nagios plugin after that in the next video we're going to install the graphic so that we can uh, have some graphic of our data